Chapter 906, Demon Shark Tooth Lin Dong carried the life death coffin cover on his shoulder. His expression was calm as he looked at Commander Xia, whose body was giving off a monstrous bloody aura. He could detect that the latter's aura had suddenly become a lot more brutal and violent. It was likely that devouring his companion's corpses had strengthened him. What a strange clan, Lin Dong softly muttered to himself. This was the first time he had seen a technique to strengthen oneself by devouring the corpses of one's companions. Brat, this is called falling into a trap you have dug for yourself. Commander Xia's expression was ferocious, and it seemed as if blood was on the verge of dripping from his eyes. That murderous intent seemed to be almost about to take an actual form. Hand over that little life of yours now. Monstrous blood light surged after Commander Xia's cry sounded. His body directly turned into a flash of demon-like blood light that rushed straight at Lin Dong at an extremely shocking speed. Commander Xia's speed had soared greatly after devouring the corpses of his companion. Swoosh! At this moment, a bloody trident streaked through the sky, leaving a stream of blood red that was a thousand feet long, as it blasted towards Lin Dong's head. The blood red stream rapidly magnified in Lin Dong's eyes. He laughed coldly as he grabbed the life death coffin cover with both hands, and the Yuan power within his body began to surge like floodwaters. Black light emerged from the life death coffin cover. After which, it directly smashed violently onto that blood red stream. Bang! Wild and violent energies spread wildly upon collision. The resulting force caused a huge thousand feet wave to spread from the point of collision in a circular fashion while a loud noise rumbled into the distance. Lin Dong stood on the surface of the sea, as black light surged on the life-death coffin cover in his hands, directly blocking that tremendous force. With his current strength, he was able to match an advanced profound life stage expert. Now that he had a powerful treasure like the life-death coffin cover in his hands, it would likely be difficult for ordinary advanced profound life stage experts to contend against him. Despite devouring the corpses of your companions, your strength is still this insignificant. Lin Dong smiled at Commander Xia, as a chilling light flashed past his pitch black eyes. His foot pushed off the surface of the sea, and his body rose upwards. The life death coffin cover in his hands contained a rippling deathly glow as it swept towards Commander Xia. Commander Xia's eyes became unusually vicious as he watched Lin Dong pouncing at him while wielding the life death coffin cover. Wild and violent Yuan power unfurled. The trident in his hands also contained great power as it ferociously attacked. Bang bang bang! The coffin cover and the trident collided in the mid-air at lightning speed, while wave after wave of astonishing force continued to sweep outwards. The speed of these two figures had been pushed to the limit, and all the Yuan power within their bodies was being utilized. As both parties clashed directly, Commander Xia's expression appeared a little ugly as he discovered that he was slowly falling into a disadvantageous. Lin Dong's battle power seemed to have exceeded his own with the aid of the life-death coffin cover. Boom! Another fierce clash occurred. Lin Dong's body jerked, while Commander Xia's body was forced to take a couple of steps back. The strand of black energy that came invading from the life-death coffin cover also caused him to panic and look relatively miserable. Brat, are you going to rely on the life-death coffin cover to act mighty? Commander Xia's expression was a little green. The life-death coffin cover in Lin Dong's hands had made him somewhat helpless, as the death chi from the coffin cover frightened him greatly. Lin Dong smiled upon hearing this. He mocked, could it be that you are going to cry for a fair fight? Since when did your blood demon shark clan become so righteous? Weren't you thinking of gathering a group of people to surround and attack me? Brat, do you really think that this commander cannot finish you off? Commander Xia's face turned red due to Lin Dong's provocations, and he immediately responded with a roar. Don't think that you are the only one with a pure Yuan treasure. Blood light flowed within Commander Xia's eyes. He seemed to hesitate for a moment, before firmly clenching his teeth. With a clench of his hand, a scarlet red jade box appeared. With a slap of his palm, the cover of the box was flipped open. Soon after, 
a foot-long large blood-red item rose from within. A shockingly fiendish aura quietly spread when this object appeared. This is... Lin Dong's eyes slightly focused as he looked at the blood-red object. It seemed to be a sharp tooth. There were blood-red light runes on it, and an indescribably dark aura covered over its surface. This is my blood demon shark clan's demon shark tooth. Brat, you are the one who has forced my hand. Commander Xia gave Lin Dong a ferocious smile. Immediately, his eyes became dark and cold as he looked at the other three Blood Demon Shark Clan squadron commanders and cried out, Offer the blood sacrifice to the Demon Tooth. The expressions of the three squadron commanders immediately changed slightly. However, they still clenched their teeth and bit the tips of their tongue. Three clusters of essence blood that gave off rich energy fluctuations shot out. Finally, they landed on the Blood Red Demon Tooth. Buzz buzz. The blood red demon tooth immediately jerked after the blood touched it, as a blood colored light arc spread from its pointed edge. That sharpness caused even space itself to show signs of being shattered. On the other hand, the expressions of the three squadron commanders, who had offered the blood sacrifice, turned ghastly white, while their auras were also unusually weary. It seemed that one must pay quite a hefty price in order to activate the so called demon shark tooth. This fellow actually also possesses a pure Yuan treasure, Lin Dong's eyes shivered a little when that demon shark tooth appeared. He did not expect that this Commander Xia actually possessed such a trump card. It is merely a low-grade pure Yuan treasure. Nevertheless, you should be careful. Yan also cautioned at this moment. Lin Dong nodded. This Commander Xia did possess the strength of an advanced profound life stage expert. If he had the aid of a pure Yuan treasure, it would indeed be quite troublesome to deal with him. One must not underestimate him. Originally, I did not wish to activate this treasure. Unfortunately, your arrogance is really extremely hateful. It will not be shameful if you die by it. Commander Xia's eyes were sinister. Blood light erupted from within his body and frantically poured into the demon shark tooth. Following the influx of his Yuan power, the demon shark tooth rapidly swelled. In a short span of time, it had turned into an enormous sharp tooth. It looked like a blood-colored spear from afar, and gave off a formidable and fiendish aura. Die! The giant blood-colored tooth floated in the sky. Immediately, a sound wave that was filled with murderous intent spread outwards. In the next moment, the giant tooth turned into a flash of bloody light that rushed forward. Its speed was so quick that it could not be described, and it seemed as though it had penetrated through space itself. A monstrous bloody aura surged as killing intent spread from it. Lin Dong watched as the bloody glow rapidly magnified in his eyes. The pores all over his body began to shrink tightly. Soon after, his hands slowly gripped the life-death coffin cover tightly, as the corners of his mouth lifted to form a wild expression. Life death coffin cover, although you do not belong to me, you must still display your power. Majestic Yuan power swept out from Lin Dong without restraint at this moment. After which, it poured into the life death coffin cover in his hands. Roar! As majestic Yuan power was poured in, the black patterns on the life death coffin cover turned increasingly bright. Wave after wave of death undulations rippled from it. Lin Dong inhaled a deep breath, as both of his hands tightly gripped the coffin cover. He took a step forward, lifting the coffin cover high above his head like a blade. After which, he suddenly slashed down in a furious manner. Bang! The sky seemed to dim the moment the coffin cover was swung downwards, as monstrous black chi swept out in an extremely wild and violent fashion. A pillar of black light seemed to have emerged from hell as it streaked through the air, and ruthlessly hacked at the incoming bloody light. Clang! At the moment of impact, heaven and earth turned silent, while the sea instantly became wild and violent. Chapter 907, Complete Elimination Boom! Giant waves that seemingly blotted the sky charged into the clouds at this moment. After which, they suddenly came falling down like a bomb. Everything within a 300,000 feet radius was enveloped within a frightening rainstorm. 
Black light and blood light each occupied half of the raining sky. Wave after wave of terrifying fluctuations spread wildly and raged throughout the sky. The clash of these two frightening energies clash did not last for long. Rays of black light suddenly gathered within the black light, before abruptly shooting from it. Sizzle sizzle. The bloody light in the sky collapsed almost instantly wherever the black light rays passed. It was. Boom boom boom. The loud sound of the blood light collapsing echoed across the sky, as it scattered at a shocking speed. After which, Commander Xia's body was also revealed. His face was currently filled with shock and fear. Clearly, he was somewhat unable to imagine that he would actually be so swiftly defeated after using the pure Yuan treasure. He had underestimated Lin Dong's strength, and had also similarly underestimated the might of the life-death coffin cover. Although they were both pure Yuan treasures, it was obvious that the might of the life-death coffin cover far surpassed that demon shark tooth of his. Swoosh! Commander Xia watched this scene in shock. In the next moment, his body suddenly pulled back rapidly. He was aware that he had already fallen into a complete disadvantage. If he did not flee, it was likely that he would be completely retained by Lin Dong in this place. After witnessing the ruthlessness of Lin Dong, he did not feel that the latter would show mercy and let him off. It is perhaps a little too late to think of leaving now. However, a cold and indifferent expression was revealed on Lin Dong's face the moment Commander Xia's body pulled back. He had always paid careful attention to completely eliminate all of his enemies. The things that Lin Dong had done would definitely anger the Blood Demon Shark clan. If he allowed this person to escape, it was likely that he would be continuously chased by the Blood Demon Shark clan. Such trouble would be even more terrifying than offending the nefarious Bone Old Man. Hence, Commander Xia must not be allowed to escape in order to save Lin Dong such trouble. Bang! The life-death coffin cover in Lin Dong's hand once again viciously swung out. Several black light threads in the sky immediately twisted and merged, turning into a thumb-sized thick black light beam that rushed towards Commander Xia with lightning speed. Space began to crack, and a black scar was formed wherever the light beam passed, while a thick aura of death was emitted. Such an aura was usually possessed by someone who had stepped into the profound death stage. However, Lin Dong had managed to unleash it with the power of the life-death coffin cover. Its destructive power was quite terrifying. Brat. You. We can discuss things nicely. Commander Xia's expression changed drastically after seeing the black light beam that was rushing towards him. There was now an additional trace of panic in his eyes as he hurriedly cried out. Lin Dong completely ignored Commander Xia's cry. The light beam pierced through the void, and finally struck Commander Xia under the latter's horrified gaze. Majestic Yuan power frantically spread from Commander Xia's body. Even his skin had turned into blood-colored scales. Clearly, he had fortified his defenses as much as possible. Swoosh! However, that black light beam completely ignored his defenses. It continued to carry a thick deathly ripple as it mercilessly struck Commander Xia's body. In the end, it emitted a plop sound as it penetrated his body. Commander Xia's body suddenly froze at this moment. He slowly lowered his head, his expression filled with horror, as he looked at the black hole that appeared on his chest. The fresh blood there had become grayish black. He could sense that a wave of death had invaded his body, and was severing the life force within his body at a shocking speed. Why has this? Commander Xia's hand rubbed the black blood on his chest, as his vision started to darken. He had never imagined that he would actually be killed at the hands of an initial profound life stage expert. This is all forced by you. Lin Dong softly muttered as he watched Commander Xia, whose body was swiftly covered by a grayish-black aura. Brat, my blood demon shark clan will not let you off. Commander Xia's expression was ferocious, while rich viciousness filled his eyes. However, he did not manage to complete his words. The remaining life force within his eyes completely solidified. After which, his body turned rigid, and his aura faded away. The life force of this advanced profound life stage expert had clearly been severed at this moment. 
Lin Dong's eyes were indifferent as he looked at the corpse as it fell from the sky. He held the life-death coffin cover in his hand, and could not help but praised it quietly. The destructive power of this life-death coffin cover was too great. From a certain point of view, it was even stronger than the burning sky cauldron before the burning sky gate was refined. If the death chi within it invaded one's body, even an advanced profound life stage expert would end up completely dead. The life chi that a profound life stage expert was so proud of had lost all of its recovery properties in the face of the death key erosion. Lin Dong looked at the corpse that had fell into the sea in an unsympathetic manner. After which, he turned his head and looked at the three still living blood demon shark clan squadron leaders hovering in the air. He spoke in an indifferent voice, you should also accompany him. Run. The complexions of the three squadron leaders were ghastly pale. Their strength had already declined greatly after offering a blood sacrifice to the demon shark tooth earlier. Hence, they were clearly aware that they were no match for Lin Dong. Immediately, their bodies rushed backwards and miserably fled in three different directions. Lin Dong calmly looked at the three individuals who had split up. With a wave of the life-death coffin cover, three tiny black lights threads rushed out and instantly caught up with the three individuals. After which, the black light threads shot into their bodies, as they swiftly turned grayish-black. Their life force was severed as they fell headfirst towards the sea. They have all been eliminated. Lin Dong gazed at the now empty sky. After which, he indifferently glanced at the floating corpses on the sea and sighed in relief. He had finally resolved this trouble. Brother Lin Dong, you are really impressive. The burning sky cauldron in his sleeve shook a little. Mu Ling Shan turned into a ray of light and slipped out from it. She looked at the scene on the surface of the sea with her large eyes as she smiled and said. It is all thanks to your life death coffin cover. Lin Dong chuckled as he patted the life death coffin cover. After which, he threw it towards Mu Ling Shan. Even he could not help but feel some desire towards such a treasure. However, he would not turn on her and snatch the treasure. One reason was that he felt a disdain towards such an action. Another reason was that he could sense that this life-death coffin cover had many seals on it. These seals should have been placed by some of the experts from the immortal sage whale clan. It was likely that he would immediately be faced with great trouble if he was to disturb them. He <laughs> he. This life-death coffin cover is a set with the life-death coffin. Therefore, those in the clan view it with great importance. Otherwise, it would not matter if I gift it to Brother Lin Dong. Mu Ling Shan received the life-death coffin cover and laughingly said. The words that she had spoken were completely thoughtless. If the elders within the clan were to learn about this, it was likely that they would be angered to the point of blowing at their beards. Lin Dong was quietly speechless upon hearing this. Just the coffin cover itself was already so powerful. He wondered just how terrifying that life-death coffin would be if they were used together. A treasure of that level should likely have exceeded the realms of a pure Yuan treasure. I have also gained something this time around. Lin Dong smiled. After which, his eyes looked towards the air, where a foot-long blood-red tooth was floating. Wave after wave of dark aura was emitted from it. It was the demon shark tooth that Commander Xia had used earlier. Lin Dong beckoned with his hand and that demon shark tooth flew over. After which, it landed in his hand. The evil aura from it caused Lin Dong to raise his brows. Brother Lin Dong, that is a pure Yuan treasure of the blood demon shark clan. Its strength is still all right, but it cannot be compared with the life death coffin cover. Mu Ling Shan said. Lin Dong was speechless. Would the Blood Demon Shark Clan not be overly terrifying if any random pure Yuan treasure that a commander took out could be compared with the life death coffin cover? It is rumored that this demon shark tooth must devour one's essence blood each time it is activated. Brother Lin Dong should be careful if you wish to use it. Lin Dong nodded slightly. He had seen the so called blood sacrifice from earlier. It seemed that the price of using this thing was quite great. One must hurt oneself before hurting others. He should pay more attention before using it in the future. Lin Dong flipped his hand, 
and kept the demon shark tooth. After which, his eyes scanned the area as he said, We should leave this place. Um. Without further ado, Lin Dong turned into a flash green light that rushed forward, while Mu Ling Shan also quickly followed behind. Following their departure, this sea region once again became quiet. The only proof that a shocking battle had erupted in this place were the dozen or so icy cold corpses on the surface of the sea. Chapter 908, Sky Merchant City The Sky Merchant region was a relatively unusual place within the chaotic Demon Sea. This was not merely because it was connected to several sea regions, but also due to the frightening number of wonderful treasures that had gathered within it. This caused Sky Merchant region's reputation within the chaotic Demon Sea to surpass the Heaven Wind Sea region. Sky Merchant region was formed from over a thousand islands, and could practically be called a continent on the sea. Of course, the terrain was not the only complicated part of the place. The interactions between the various factions within it could only be described as chaotic. Of course, the most powerful faction within Sky Merchant region was naturally the Sky Merchant Court. The strength and foundation that this faction possessed was only greater than the two great caves in the Heaven Wind Sea region. Moreover, the Sky Merchant Court was quite famous even within the entire chaotic Demon Sea. Under the leadership of the Sky Merchant Court, Sky Merchant region had become much better compared to its chaotic past self. Currently, this region had become a holy land in the hearts of countless treasure seekers. It was said that as long as one possessed sufficient Xian Yuan pills, one would be able to purchase anything in this place. These words might be somewhat exaggerated, but from them, one could still tell just what kind of level the reputation of Sky Merchant region had reached. The Lindong duo did not linger after finishing off those troublesome blood demon sharks who had followed them, and headed straight for Sky Merchant region. This was because the annual Sky Merchant auction was about to arrive, and Lin Dong wished to obtain quite a number of things from it. Naturally, he did not wish to miss such a grand event. Due to there being no obstructions during the subsequent part of their journey, they were able to travel smoothly. Within a mere five days, land began to appear in the horizon of the seemingly endless sea, while the sky also became extremely noisy at that moment, as countless rays of light flashed past. It looked as though they were interweaving with each other in the sky forming a large net of light. How lively! Mu Lingxian's large clear eyes watched the extremely lively Sky Merchant region. Her small face was filled with excitement and feelings of novelty. Lin Dong nodded. Some surprise was present in his eyes. He had only visited Mysterious Spirit Island and Martial Gathering Island ever since he had arrived at this chaotic demon sea. Although both islands were quite large, they were nothing when compared with this Sky Merchant region. We will head directly to Sky Merchant City. It is the main city of Sky Merchant region. Lin Dong chuckled and said. Is brother Lin Dong also here for the Sky Merchant auction? Mu Ling Shan smiled as she asked. It seemed that this Sky Merchant auction was indeed quite well known, and even she had heard about it. Lin Dong nodded and smacked his lips. He had begun to consider the problem of his finances after having reached Sky Merchant region. After all, if any item in the auction caught his eye, he would need to use Xian Yuan pills to compete for them. The main problem, was he was currently not very rich. This place was not the ancient battlefield from back then, and situations where force was used to snatch away something would not occur. In Sky Merchant region, Whoever dared to do such a thing in an auction organized by the Sky Merchant Court, unless his strength had reached the Samsara stage, one could only say that he was a death-seeking fool. Hence, Lin Dong could only obediently use Xian Yuan pills to try and compete for something that had caught his eye. Looks like I can only auction off some of the core spiritual birth serum in my hands, Lin Dong fondled his chin. Although he possessed many treasures with him, he did not dare reveal most of them. After some thought, it seemed that the only thing that he could take out, and was also somewhat valuable, was the core spiritual birth serum that he had obtained on Mysterious Spirit Island. This item was not only extremely useful when attempting to break through the Nirvana stage, but was also a great nourishment towards those experts who had stepped into the profound life stage. If he was to auction it, 
it was likely that even those advance and perfect profound life stage experts would be interested. If it was not because he was tight in terms of finances, Lin Dong would not auction it. Let's go. Lin Dong felt a heartache as he spoke to Mu Ling Shan behind him. His body moved and turned into a flash of green light that hurried towards Sky Merchant City. Mu Ling Shan followed behind him, while looking all around her. Sky Merchant region was very vast. Even with Lin Dong's speed, he ended up spending half a day in order to reach its center, where a giant city that almost occupied an entire island appeared within his sight. A faint yellow light barrier covered the city. Lin Dong could detect a terrifying fluctuation from the light barrier. This fluctuation was not any weaker than the Great Sect protecting formation of the Dao Sect. This caused him to involuntarily let out some praise. It seemed that this Sky Merchant Court was indeed powerful. The light barrier in the sky did not appear to prevent anyone from entering. Hence, Lin Dong followed some people and directly passed through it. After which, his gaze swept around and locked onto at the spot in the middle of the city. A 10,000 feet large black building quietly stood at that spot. A vast and mighty aura was emitted from it, causing one to feel somewhat intimidated. Which faction other than the overlord of Sky Merchant City, the Sky Merchant Court, would have the qualifications to build such a large and superior building in this place? They are indeed worthy of being the overlord of the Sky Merchant region. Lin Dong's eyes swept over the 10,000 feet large building that rose straight into the clouds, as a solemn expression flashed across his eyes. He could vaguely sense some extremely obscure and powerful auras from it. These auras appeared like the frightening lightning that hidden within the clouds. Anyone who attempted to act against the Sky Merchant Court would attract thunderbolt-like killing intent. I wonder if this Sky Merchant Court has any samsara stage super experts. Lin Dong fondled his chin. The strength of the samsara stage was already a top notch in the world. If one wished to become a first tier faction in this world, one must definitely have a samara stage expert. The Yuan Gate's three great sect masters had such strength, while the Dao sect had two individuals with such a strength. This was already not bad in this chaotic demon sea. After all, these super sects did possess an extremely frightening foundation regardless of how one put it. The court chief of the Sky Merchant Court is a Samsara stage expert, he once came to our clan while heading all over the place in search of treasure. However, he was eventually driven away by first grandpa, Mu Ling Shan tilted her head and thought for a moment before remarking. Lin Dong's mouth parted. It seemed that this immortal sage whale clan was indeed quite powerful. They were able to drive away a samsara stage expert as they pleased. Let's go. We will make a trip to the Sky Merchant Court. Lin Dong rushed forward. Over ten minutes later, he landed on an enormous square a short distance from the towering building. At this moment, the square itself was extremely lively. A great amount of human traffic was gathered in this place, and continuously flowed towards the Sky Merchant Court shops in front. Lin Dong got his bearings before heading towards the Sky Merchant Court. At this moment, he discovered rushing wind sounds appearing on the square. A small commotion accompanied the sounds. Are those members of the demonic wind cave? Could their leader be the most outstanding person amongst the younger generation of the demonic wind cave? Little Underworld King Xia Yan. His aura is quite strong. Looks like his reputation is not false. He is indeed worthy of being one of the strongest member of the younger generation in the Heaven Wind Sea region. Lin Dong's heart trembled slightly after hearing the various conversations being transmitted into his ear, as he lifted his head. At this moment, there were over a dozen figures landing from the sky. A handsome young man in black robes led them. There was a black skeleton tattoo on man's brow, and it seemed to have been purposefully placed there. Each step of that young man vaguely contained a dark and evil aura, causing the temperature around him to fall substantially. Around a dozen figures clustered together behind the man. Two elderly figures amongst them had indifferent expressions. As they lifted their heads, those turbid eyes of theirs had a deterring glitter in them. They were clearly exceptionally powerful. This lineup was indeed quite powerful. 
no wonder it was able to attract such a commotion. Demonic Wind Cave Little Underworld King Xia Yan, Lin Dong watched this group and muttered. Back when he was at Marshall Gathering Island, he was already aware that Chen Tiju was only ranked third amongst the younger generation in the Heaven Wind Sea region. There were two individuals above him. One was the Universe Hand Zhou Gan from the Universe Cave, while the other was this little underworld king before him, Xia Yan. Looks like Sky Merchant Auction has attracted all sorts of people. Lin Dong smacked his lips and inwardly felt a little troubled. It seemed that there would be quite a number of people like Xia Yan during the next few days. It was indeed a little troublesome to compete against these large factions with strong foundations. Xia Yan's group, who had landed on the square, ignored the surrounding gazes, and headed straight for Sky Merchant Court. However, Xia Yan seemed to have sensed something when Lin Dong's eyes shot towards him. The former's footsteps paused momentarily, as a pair of eyes that were filled with maliciousness was thrown towards Lin Dong. Lin Dong smiled faintly their gazes met. After which, they turned their eyes away. Xia Yan frowned slightly. Before he could pay more attention, however, Lin Dong had already turned around and headed towards another spot in the Sky Merchant Court. Young master, what is it? An elder beside Xia Yan opened his mouth and asked. Xia Yan shook his head. He glanced at Lin Dong's back, but did not say anything. In that earlier moment, he had vaguely detected a trace of an extremely dangerous fluctuation from Lin Dong's body. However, it was most likely a misconception now that he thought about it. After all, there were not many young people who could cause him to feel danger. He did not believe that a seemingly ordinary person like Lin Dong would possess such ability. Let's go. Xia Yan waved his hand and led the group into the Sky Merchant Court. At the same time, Lin Dong had also entered a treasure inspection room within Sky Merchant Court. After which, he fished out the core spiritual birth serum. Chapter 909, Tang Dongling The spacious treasure inspection room was well lit. Its quiet atmosphere was completely different from the noisiness outside. Lin Dong sat down in front of a treasure inspection booth. There was a middle-aged man with a professional smile opposite him. The middle-aged man looked at Lin Dong, and smilingly inquired, Mr. Do you wish for something to be inspected? Lin Dong nodded slightly, and did not act secretive. With a clench of his hand, a jade bottle appeared in a flash. Emerald green liquid slowly swirled within the jade bottle, as a shocking life energy spread from within. This is... The middle-aged man's eyes slightly focused as he looked at the emerald green liquid within the jade bottle. Immediately, some excitement climbed into his eyes, as he softly clarified, is this the core spiritual birth serum? Yes. Lin Dong nodded. This treasure inspection officer of the Sky Merchant Court did indeed possess a good pair of eyes. The latter had recognized the item before being told what it was. I wish to hand this item to the Sky Merchant Court to be auctioned. The middle-aged man was not surprised by these words. He pondered for a moment, before speaking. Sir, please wait for a moment, the core spiritual birth serum is extremely valuable. I will invite the person in charge to help you value it. What do you say? The man saw Lin Dong nod after those words were uttered, before turning around and entering the inner hall, while Lin Dong remained quietly seated. This continued for a long while, before he heard the sound of soft footsteps. A serene fragrance also began to flow into the closed-off room. Does this customer intend to auction the core spiritual birth serum? A soft and gentle voice suddenly sounded. Lin Dong lifted his head, only to see that there was a lady standing in front of him. The lady wore a bright red dress. She had a very good figure with enchanting curves, and her face was an exquisite oval shape. At this moment, there was a slight smile on it. This smile caused her chin to look extremely pointed. On the whole, she was fairly beautiful. Currently, the woman in red was using her bright and beautiful black obsidian-like eyes to look at Lin Dong. Such an appearance was filled with allure. Lin Dong was clearly a little stunned by the this lady's appearance. However, 
he quickly recovered and nodded. He glanced at the middle-aged man from earlier behind the red-clothed lady. He was standing at that spot in an extremely respectful manner. From this, one could tell that this lady's status within the Sky Merchant Court was definitely extraordinary. Moreover, Lin Dong could also faintly sense a relatively strong Yuan power fluctuation from the body of this red-clothed lady. Evidently, this lady was also exceptionally powerful. This chaotic demon sea is indeed full of strong hidden individuals. Lin Dong pursed his lips. This red-clothed lady's age was similar to that little underworld king Xia Yan. However, she was likely not weaker than the latter. May I know if it is convenient for you to reveal your name? The red-clothed woman looked at Lin Dong with a bright smile as she inquired. Lin Dong. Lin Dong hesitated for a moment, before replying. He did not hide his name. It seemed unnecessary to do so in this chaotic demon sea. I am a manager of the Sky Merchant Court, Tang Dongling. The red-clothed lady smilingly replied. She extended her delicate hand to retrieve the jade bottle containing the core spiritual birth serum in front of Lin Dong. Her pretty eyes brightened slightly after sensing the rich life energy within it. After which, she said, this is indeed the core spiritual birth serum. Moreover, the life chi within it is quite rich. It can be considered a high-grade core spiritual birth serum. If Brother Lin Dong wishes to auction this item, the price can be set at 1 million Xian Yuan pills. This item is greatly beneficial to the experts at the profound life stage. It will likely attract quite a bidding competition. The five drops of core spiritual birth serum within this bottle might be able to fetch around 10 million Xian Yuan pills. 10 million Xian Yuan pills. In that case, we will do as Miss Tang has suggested. Lin Dong did not have any objections to this. He might not be considered extremely wealthy with these 10 million Xian Yuan pills. However, it was likely that he would be able to obtain the things he needed if he did not compete against those powerful factions. Originally, Lin Dong had eight droplets of this core spiritual birth serum. However, he had used one droplet at Mysterious Spirit Island, and currently only had seven droplets left. He had only taken out five of them for this auction. The remaining two droplets were kept by Lin Dong. After all, this thing was also greatly beneficial to Lin Dong. That's right, Miss Tang. May I inquire if there will be any volcano flame essence stones in the auction? Lin Dong was just about to stand up after settling the matter of the core spiritual birth serum, when he suddenly seemed to have recalled something. He quickly opened his mouth and inquired. Volcano flame essence stones. Tang Dongling was a little taken aback. She immediately pondered for a moment before replying, a rather rare ingredient. However, such an ingredient will be snatched up by the various powerful factions the moment they appeared. Some might appear during this auction, however, they have already been secretly targeted. Lin Dong frowned slightly upon hearing these words. If he was unable to find eight volcano flame essence stones, he would be unable to refine the burning sky gates. He would really experience some trouble should that nefarious bone old man come looking for him again. After all, he was unable to frequently use that method which would leave them both severely injured. Does Brother Lin Dong really require this ingredient? Tang Dongling involuntarily laughed after seeing Lin Dong's frown. My Sky Merchant Court does have some volcano flame essence stones. However, they are not up for sale. If Brother Lin Dong requires them, I can make the decision to sell some of them to you. Treat it as a gesture to befriend Brother Lin Dong. Miss. The middle-aged man behind Tang Dongling was about to open his mouth after hearing those words, when he was stopped by a wave of the latter's hand. Lin Dong was also a little surprised as he looked at Tang Dongling. It was likely that he never imagined that she would actually take the initiative to lend him a hand. Although he did not understand the reason for it, he cupped his hands together and spoke respectfully after hesitating for a moment. In that case, I will thank Miss Tang for your help. Lin Dong did not try to put up an act and reject her. This was because he really needed the volcano flame essence stones at the present time. Currently, 
various experts were gathering at this Sky Merchant region due to the Sky Merchant auction. If Lin Dong wished to be able to defend himself, he must refine the burning sky gates. May I inquire about the price for your Volcano Flame Essence Stones? I will likely require eight pieces. The price of every Volcano Flame Essence Stone will not be lower than the Core Spiritual Birth Serum. Each is worth about 1 million Xian Yuan pills. Eight of them will cost 8 million Xian Yuan pills. Tang Dongling lifted her sharp chin slightly. Her smile had a fox-like bewitchment and charm. 8 million Xian Yuan pills. Lin Dong felt a little awkward upon hearing this price, and said, I'm sorry. I do not have so many Xian Yuan pills with me now. I think that I will wait until the core spiritual birth serum is sold before I head here to purchase them. It's fine. Brother Lin Dong can take the Volcano Flame Essence Stones first. Since your core spiritual birth serum will be left with us, don't tell me that I will still be afraid that you will run. Tang Dongling laughed. After which, she gently waved her hand. The middle-aged man behind her quickly withdrew, before returning a dozen minutes later. There was now a jade box in his hands. An extremely hot fluctuation spread the moment the box was opened. Lin Dong suppressed the excitement within his heart. He looked over, and saw eight fiery red crystals quietly lying within the jade box. There seemed to be some lava flowing within those crystals, while wave after wave of extremely wild and violent fluctuations continuously rippled from them. It is indeed the Volcano Flame Essence Stone. Lin Dong's eyes flashed. He had finally found this thing after much effort. Brother Lin Dong, please accept them. Tang Dongling smilingly said. Lin Dong cupped his hands together towards Tang Dongling in a solemn fashion. After which, he received the jade box, and kept it into his Qunkin bag, as he earnestly spoke, I will definitely repay this favor that Miss Tang had bestowed upon me today if I have the chance to do so in the future. Lin Dong was unaware of why Tang Dongling would aid him in such a manner. However, Lin Dong was someone who would repay a favor ten times over. Regardless of the reason, Lin Dong had accepted Tang Dongling's good intentions. These words of Brother Lin Dong are enough. You can come to the Sky Merchant Court to look for me if you have anything you need help with during this period of time. Tang Dongling covered her mouth and laughed in a lovely fashion. Lin Dong nodded. He once again uttered a couple of polite words, before turning around to leave. Young miss, why have you broken the rules for a stranger? Is there really a need to try and win over this person? The middle-aged man finally could not resist asking after Lin Dong left. Do you know who he is? Tang Dongling's long, narrow, and pretty eyes narrowed slightly as she asked. I do not. Sometime earlier, that Shenta Ju from the Shenta clan was defeated by someone, and the person who defeated him was called Lin Dong, Tang Dongling softly said. Defeated Shenta Ju Hui, he does have some ability. However, I'm afraid that this is insufficient to gain such attention from young Miss Wright. The middle-aged man mused. After that incident, the nefarious bone old man tried to kill this person due to some grudge. However, the nefarious bone old man ended up becoming a human baton, and fled with serious injuries. Oh! That middle-aged man's expression finally altered slightly upon hearing this. The nefarious bone old man was a half-step profound death stage expert. He was quite well known in the Heaven Wind Sea region. Additionally, I have coincidentally obtained some news. Half a year ago, an earth-shaking battle occurred in the eastern Xian region. In that great battle, the three great sect masters of the Yuan Gate moved together in an attempt to kill a young man. However, the latter was eventually able to successfully escape. It was rumored that a reincarnation stage expert had lent him a hand at the final critical moment. Tang Dongling's red lips pursed slightly as rich curiosity flickered within those pretty eyes of hers. She looked at the flabbergasted middle-aged man beside her, and gave him a charming smile. That young man was also called Lin Dong. Chapter 910, Refining the Burning Sky Gates Does young miss mean, that the eastern Xian region's Lin Dong and this person is one and the same? 
the middle-aged man's face held some shock. If the two of them were the same person, would it not mean that there was a super expert who had stepped into the reincarnation stage supporting Lin Dong? An expert at that level was someone whom their Sky Merchant Court could not afford to offend. Although I am unable to verify this, it is still necessary to maintain a good relationship. I believe that father will also choose to do the same if he is here. Although the price of eight volcano flame essence stones is expensive, it might not even be worth mentioning in the long run, Tang Dongling laughed softly. Even if the two of them are not the same person, Lin Dong still possess the potential to be worth befriending. One should not underestimate Lin Dong's skills given that he was able to force a half-step profound death stage expert to that extent with just the strength of the initial profound life stage. If it is possible to befriend such a person, it will naturally be far better than being enemies with him. Young Miss has really become more and more meticulous. The middle-aged man praised as he nodded. If there was really a reincarnation stage super expert backing Lin Dong, the latter would be treated as a VIP even by the master of their Sky Merchant Court. Tang Dongling grinned. She said, do not leak the matter about Lin Dong. He currently faces a great amount of trouble. Although he has severely injured the nefarious bone old man, we must not forget that the old man is someone from the demonic wind cave. Currently, that little underworld king Xia Yan is also present. Lin Dong will face some trouble if the former recognizes him. The middle-aged man nodded, this subordinate understand. Okay, go and continue your work. There are ten more days before the auction will begin. This time around, quite a number of powerful factions have come. We must ensure that nothing goes wrong. Tang Dongling said. Understood. The middle-aged man replied respectfully. After which, he bade her farewell and left. Tang Dongling leaned her head to the side, as her pretty eyes looked in the direction which Lin Dong had left towards, and the corners of her lips slightly lifted. She was clearly extremely curious about Lin Dong's identity. Lin Dong left the treasure inspection room. After which, he found Mu Lingshan outside, whose eyes were somewhat dazzled as she looked around. He subsequently dragged her along in this Sky Merchant Court district. Lin Dong had gained quite a lot from this trip. After obtaining the eight volcano flame essence stones, he had finally solved a relatively troublesome problem. With these materials, he would be able to bring out the power of the burning sky cauldron. Although its would not be as great as when the old man Fen Tian wielded it back then, Lin Dong would no longer need to fear anyone that was not a profound death stage expert. Such a powerful trump card was clearly necessary in this chaotic place where all sorts of experts gathered. Lin Dong was in no hurry to find a lodging after leaving the Sky Merchant Court. Instead, he led Mu Lingshan as they strolled about Sky Merchant City for some time. Only then was this little girl's desire to join in the liveliness satisfied. Finally, Lin Dong led her to find an inn within the city to rest. Lin Dong beckoned with his hand within the spacious and quiet room as the burning sky cauldron rushed out. Wave after wave of scarlet red light was continuously emitted from it. Ling Shan, I will be in secluded cultivation for a couple of days. You should stay inside as much as possible. Sky Merchant City is currently extremely chaotic. No one knows if there is anyone from the Blood Demon Shark Clan outside. There will likely be a great amount of trouble if you are discovered. Lin Dong warned Mu Ling Shan beside him. Oh. Mu Ling Shan pouted her small mouth after hearing that Lin Dong was planning on retreating into secluded cultivation. However, she eventually nodded. That's right, how is the seal that was placed on you? Lin Dong seemed to have recalled something as he suddenly asked. He could sense that Mu Ling Shan should be relatively powerful, and was likely even stronger than the little underworld king Xia Yan. However, a seal had been placed on her. If the seal was removed and her strength recovered, she would definitely be a great helper to Lin Dong. It has yet to disappear. That damned shark seal is quite formidable. Mu Ling Shan pulled her sleeve. A blood shark light symbol appeared on her small white shoulder. She looked at this light symbol and seemed a little frustrated. How can we remove this seal? 
Lin Dong frowned and asked. I need a kind of spiritual ingredient called the Sea King Spirit Grass, only with it will I be able to break this seal. Mu Ling Shan thought for a moment before replying. Sea King Spirit Grass, Lin Dong muttered under his breath. This was a rare spiritual ingredient. He would have to see if he could find it once the auction began. In any case, he would do his best to help Mu Ling Shan resolve the problem of the seal. You should be careful during these few days. The task of guarding us will be left to you. Lin Dong pulled the two pigtails on Mu Ling Shan's little head. After which, he laughed heartily in the face of the little girl's displeasure, before his body moved and entered that burning sky cauldron. The interior of the burning sky cauldron was still the same bare yellow land. Lin Dong floated in the sky, as his eyes swept downwards. He grinned and asked, Yan, what should I do next? Back then, old man Fen Tian had already completely harmonized this burning sky cauldron to you. The method to refine the burning sky gate is hidden within the burning sky cauldron. Only you can find it. The ancestor stone shot out from Lin Dong's body. A light figure surfaced from it as Yan looked at Lin Dong and said. Lin Dong nodded in comprehension. He shut both of his eyes and allowed his mind to gradually spread. Finally, it began to gradually merge with this burning sky cauldron. Following this merger, he could clearly sense that the information hidden within the furnace was beginning to gather towards him. Scarlet red light covered Lin Dong's body. This continued for over ten minutes, before it gradually scattered, and Lin Dong's shut eyes also slowly opened. There was some vague scarlet red light flashing within them. So it's like this. Lin Dong laughed softly. Currently, he had already obtained the training method and operation procedure for the Burning Sky Gate from the Burning Sky Cauldron. From a certain point of view, this was a relatively complicated process. Back then, old man Fen Tian had spent several years in order to refine those eight Burning Sky Gates. Of course, the current Lin Dong did not dare to compare with old man Fen Tian. That person had used eight ancient volcanoes to refine the Burning Sky Gates. It could suppress a general level Yumo after its successful refinement, and could even pose a threat to a king level Yumo. On the other hand, the ingredients that Lin Dong was using were merely eight volcano flame essence stones. Although these stones contained a relatively great amount of volcanic energy, it was impossible to even compare the two. Fortunately, Lin Dong was not hoping to use this to deal with those Yumo. All he wished to do, was to possess a method to deal with the nefarious bone old man the next time the latter come looking for him. Let's get started. Lin Dong exhaled softly. Red light flickered within his eyes, as both of his hands suddenly formed numerous seals. Following the change of these seals, the entire domain suddenly began to tremble intensely. The yellowish ground below collapsed, as many huge scarlet red light pillars shot into the clouds. A wild and violent heat quietly surged within this space. The light pillars interweaved together. Finally, they transformed into an enormous formation. Fire light rose within the formation, and it seemed to have formed a monstrous flame. Lin Dong lifted his head and observed the formation that had formed. With a wave of his sleeve, the jade box flew out from it. Subsequently, the box melted, and eight red lights shot out. Finally, they hovered in the air. Buzz buzz. The temperature within the burning sky cauldron soared almost instantly after the appearance of these eight volcano flame essence stones. Soon after, a firestorm descended from all directions, an extremely majestic sight. Lin Dong watched this scene. His eyes contained thick shock. Fortunately, he was currently able to borrow the strength of the burning sky cauldron. Otherwise, if he was to simply rely on his own strength to refine the burning sky gates, the amount of time needed to do so would drag on without end. After all, the enormous energy required during the refinement period was not something that his initial profound life stage strength could afford. Lin Dong sat down in the air. His ten fingers crossed together, before flipping over. A soft cry was suddenly emitted, burning sky cauldron, refine the sky gates. Bang bang! The large array in the sky trembled. 
eight enormous fire pillars suddenly poured downwards. The fire pillars wiggled, and actually transformed into eight giant fire dragons. After which, the dragon's mouths were opened, and swallowed the eight volcano flame essence stones. The titanic bodies of the eight fire dragon began to curl up after they swallowed the volcano flame essence stones. They seemed to have vaguely turned into eight fire cauldrons. Within the cauldrons, the volcano flame essence stones continuously emitted a berserk and scorching energy. Lin Dong observed all of these. After which, he slowly shut his eyes. He that he would mostly rely on the burning sky cauldron to refine the burning sky gates. All he needed to do was to control the process from the side. Currently, most of what he could do had already been done. All that was left was to wait for the process to be over. Whether it was a success would completely depend on Lin Dong's own luck. <laughs>